So I was running on Monday, February 4th. Um, I was going out, starting in, in Lori State Park, and I was gonna do uh, between a 12 and 15 mile run. So starting from the Arthur's Rock parking lot, I ran along the South Valley trails uh, through Lori Park and then ended up linking up with uh, Horsetooth Mountain Park. And from there, uh, did my first towers run of the year. Uh, it's actually the first time I've ran towers. I've only mountain biked it before. Um, but I just know it's an intense hill. It's really good for, for getting some hill training in. So I was a little bit nervous and jazzed up about actually just running the hill and getting that complete. So I was running up the hill. Uh, finally made it up to the top of towers. And up there, I went down on a trail to the south. I think it's called Pirate Trail, but others just call it West Ridge Trail. And so running along West Ridge Trail, I was planning on just going to uh, Horsetooth Rock. But along the trail, uh, there's some pretty icy conditions and I was slipping a little bit more than I wanted to. So I turned back and then I remember seeing a spur for West Ridge that went to the east of Towers. And so I took that spur and then about a quarter mile into that run, I uh, heard some pine needles rustle behind me. And uh, luckily I was able to actually turn my head. Um, I'd say more often than not, I, I would turn my head, but sometimes I wouldn't, thinking it's just a deer or a rabbit or any sort of small woodland creature. Um, but in the back of my mind, there's always that thought that it could be something else. And that something else this time happened to be a mountain lion. So one of my worst fears was confirmed and just kind of had like my heart sink into my stomach a little bit and threw my hands up and started yelling. And um, when I first turned around, the cat was probably 10 feet away from me and it just kept approaching. And as it got close, it just kind of lunged at me. So I threw my arms up and it latched onto my wrist, so I was just kind of protecting my face. So yeah, it latched onto my wrist, and then it just started clawing along my like face, and then my legs, and I was just kind of screaming the whole time, um, doing my barbarian yell as best I could. <laughs> and I tried to throw it off of me, um, and as I tried to throw it off me, like, we both left the trail because it just re-gripped onto my wrist and kind of tumbled off the slope to the south side of the trail. And uh, from there, it was like just a wrestling match. Uh, it was thrashing and then still had my wrist locked in its jaws. And I was able to kind of get my left knee um, to pin down its back legs. Um, as, as a pretty new cat owner, I realized that once you get a cat on its back, its back legs go crazy and that little rabbit thrash. And um, so I was pretty wary of the, the back claws actually hitting my, my guts or my groin or anything like that. So I was able to pin down its back legs with my left knee. And then the front paws, I, I don't actually remember what, what happened with those. I mean, I was kind of deflecting them with my left hand, but then I was grabbing at some sticks that were close by and I was trying to um, stab it in the throat with some sticks. Um, unfortunately, the sticks were kind of rotten, so they kept on breaking. <laughs> and then I was able to uh, pick up a big rock um, with my left hand and I was trying to hit it on the head with a big rock, but. It was kind of a tough angle because my wrist is still in its mouth and I'm not really getting a full swing, but I was able to kind of hit it in the back of the head a few times. And I just knew that it wasn't going to be super effective. So then I used um, just a little body weight transition and got my right leg um, close to my wrist and was able to finally get it onto the cat's neck. And then I stepped onto its neck and then eventually was able to suffocate it. 